vitamin D and its effect on aging. I'm gonna first look at bone health and bone density loss. Vitamin D created in our skin from sunlight undergoes two key transformations inside our body to become fully active. Initially, it's modified by the liver into a substance known as 25-hydroxy vitamin D. Following this, the kidneys further converted into calcitriol. The active form of vitamin D plays a key role in how our body uses calcium and phosphate, which are crucial for building and maintaining strong bones. It helps our intestines absorb these minerals more effectively, ensuring that our blood has the right levels needed for bone growth and repair. This process helps prevent bones from becoming weak and maintains their strength over time. Insufficient vitamin D disrupts calcium absorption, leading to secondary hyperparathyroidism, increased bone resorption, loss of bone density, and heightened fracture risk. Vitamin D deficiency has the potential to lead to osteoporosis and is especially common in menopausal women and the elderly. This is partially attributable because as we age, our skin's ability to produce vitamin D from sunlight decreases, and they may also spend less time outdoors. Additionally, hormonal changes after menopause can affect bone density making vitamin D even more critical for maintaining bone health. And as I've talked about in other videos, that loss of estrogen and progesterone and testosterone has catastrophic effects on the body. Ensuring adequate vitamin D levels in these groups, specifically in menopausal women, is crucial for preventing bone weakening and reducing the risk of fractures. In this study, looking at vitamin D and bone health, published in the Journal of Nutrition, emphasizes the indispensable role of vitamin D in bone health, highlighting its mechanism in maintaining serum calcium and phosphorus levels for bone mineralization. It details how vitamin D, through sunlight exposure and dietary sources, undergoes metabolic transformations to become 1,25-dihydroxy vitamin D, the active form essential for calcium absorption and bone health. Deficiencies in vitamin D are linked to significant bone diseases like osteomalacia in adults and rickets in children. Underscoring the necessity of adequate vitamin D levels for preventing osteoporosis and ensuring a healthy mineralized skeleton across all ages. There's even an interrelationship between vitamin D levels and muscle strength. Vitamin D plays a crucial role in our muscles. It attaches to specific receptors in muscle tissue influencing how our muscles work and develop. When we don't get enough vitamin D, our muscle strength can decrease, leading to more feelings of weakness. This shows how important vitamin D is for keeping muscles strong and functional. There are many things that contribute, but this might be a lesser known contributor to muscle health. There's also an impact on sarcopenia, which is muscle loss with aging, and greatly affects older adults. Heck, it affects anyone older the age of 40 and can make them more prone to accidents and injuries. Vitamin D is involved in making proteins in our muscles and helps in their metabolism, which is the process of turning food into energy and new muscle. This suggests that getting enough vitamin D might slow down sarcopenia, helping older adults stay stronger and more independent. Research shows that taking extra vitamin D can improve muscle strength, how well muscles work, and balance particularly in people who initially have low levels of vitamin D. This could potentially mean fewer falls and injuries as well. However, scientists are still figuring out how much vitamin D people need to take to get the best results for muscle health. In this study, looking at the effects of vitamin D on muscle function and performance, a review of evidence from randomized controlled trials, a review from Biomed Research International, explored how vitamin D influences muscle cells both at the genetic level and through immediate actions, improving how muscles use calcium, which is crucial for muscle contraction and strength. It also aids in the growth and repair of muscle cells. Specifically, the research connects low levels of vitamin D with weaker muscle function and shows that supplementing vitamin D can notably increase muscle strength and decrease the likelihood of falls, particularly in older adults or those initially deficient in vitamin D. This detailed examination demonstrates vitamin D's essential role in maintaining and enhancing muscle health, offering a preventative strategy against muscle-related declines with age. Vitamin D significantly influences 
enhances the immune system by boosting the capabilities of monocytes and macrophages, key white blood cells in our defense against pathogens. It also plays a role in reducing inflammation, which is vital for preventing overactive immune responses that can lead to things like autoimmune disease. Research links vitamin D deficiency with a higher risk of infections, especially those affecting the respiratory system. This suggests that vitamin D aids in activating the immune cells responsible for fighting off infections and providing a protective effects against various pathogens. There's something called immunosenescence, the aging related decline in immune function that can be mitigated by vitamin D. It enhances the body's innate immune system and helps regulate the adaptive immune response, potentially slowing the immunosenescence process. This has the potential to lead to a more robust immune system in older adults, reducing their vulnerability to infections and diseases. This study looking at vitamin D and the immune system from the Journal of Investigative Medicine and explains that vitamin D enhances immune defense by activating monocytes and macrophages key types of white blood cells that devour and eliminate pathogens, effectively acting as the body's first line of defense against infections. Furthermore, vitamin D plays a pivotal role in reducing the risk of autoimmune diseases by modulating the immune response, preventing the immune system from attacking the body's own cells and tissues. This underscores its essential role in maintaining a balanced and effective immune system. You may not realize it, but vitamin D also plays a role in heart health by potentially reducing the risk of hypertension or high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, and even stroke. We know that its deficiency is linked to an increased risk of cardiovascular diseases. The active form of vitamin D, calcitriol, helps in inhibiting the process of vascular calcification, which is a key factor in the development of cardiovascular diseases. Additionally, vitamin D may help regulate blood pressure by influencing the renin angiotensin aldosterone system, or the RAS. This is a hormone system that regulates blood pressure and fluid balance. Vitamin D also plays a role in endothelial function, as I've mentioned earlier, this is the lining of our blood vessels. It's noted that vitamin D is crucial for maintaining endothelial health and that adequate levels of vitamin D can help preserve endothelial function, promoting vasodilatation, which is opening of the blood vessels and improving blood flow. This is particularly important for preventing hypertension or high blood pressure and reducing the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Vitamin D's effect on endothelial cells influences the release of nitric oxide, a molecule essential for vascular relaxation and blood pressure regulation. This direct impact on the vascular system underscores the importance of vitamin D in supporting cardiovascular health beyond its known effects on bone and muscle. Vitamin D influences cardiovascular health through various mechanisms, including modulation of the renin angiotensin aldosterone system, which helps in blood pressure regulation and has implications for heart health. It also plays a role in reducing inflammation within the cardiovascular system, which is a known risk factor for heart disease and stroke. Additionally, vitamin D is involved in the regulation of insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism, factors that are closely linked to cardiovascular health. These multifaceted actions highlight the potential of vitamin D in maintaining cardiovascular health and preventing disease progression. In this randomized controlled trial in the British Medical Journal, looking at the impact of vitamin D supplementation on major cardiovascular events in older adults that involved over 21,000 participants aged 60 to 84, randomized to receive either 60,000 IUs of vitamin D monthly or a placebo for up to five years. The findings indicated a lower rate of major cardiovascular events, including myocardial infarction and coronary revascularization in the vitamin D group compared to the placebo group, particularly among those taking cardiovascular drugs at baseline. I'm interrupting this video because I would love for you to grab my intermittent fasting quick start guide. You can click the link below and grab it now. Amazingly enough, we have vitamin D receptors in our brain, indicating that vitamin D plays a significant role in brain health. The active form of vitamin D is known for its neuroprotective effects, helping to clear toxins and reduce oxidative stress. 
a factor that can accelerate brain aging and contribute to diseases like Alzheimer's dementia. By engaging in these detoxification pathways, vitamin D helps to preserve cognitive function and protect against degenerative processes. Vitamin D is also crucial for neuronal health, playing a key role in brain function and memory. It helps in maintaining nerve health by supporting the growth and development of neurons. Crucial cells in the brain responsible for carrying messages. Additionally, vitamin D is involved in the regulation of various neurotransmitters that are essential for memory processing and cognitive function. By maintaining healthy nerve cells and neurotransmitter levels, vitamin D contributes significantly to cognitive health and memory retention, highlighting its importance beyond bone and muscle health. Emerging research indicates that maintaining sufficient vitamin D levels might influence the course of neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Vitamin D's involvement in brain cell protection, new cell growth, and neural communication underscores its potential therapeutic value. While the direct impact on these diseases is still being explored, vitamin D's broad actions in the brain highlight its importance in strategies aimed at delaying or mitigating neurodegenerative conditions. In this study, is there a role for vitamin D in supporting cognitive function as we age? This is a review published in the Proceedings of the Nutrition Society that explores the significant roles of vitamin D in aging and cognitive health. It discusses how vitamin D, acting through both genomic and non-genomic pathways, may influence neuroprotection, neurotransmission, synaptic plasticity, and immune modulation. The review highlights epidemiological evidence linking low serum vitamin D levels with poor cognitive performance in older populations, suggesting a potential protective effect of vitamin D against cognitive decline and neurodegenerative diseases. Vitamin D also plays an important role with hormonal pathways, critical for our body's calcium balance and bone health. It works closely with parathyroid hormone, enhancing calcium absorption from the gut and reabsorption in the kidneys, essential for maintaining bone density and preventing osteoporosis. This interaction is crucial, especially as we age, since it directly affects our skeletal health and overall well-being. As we age, our body undergoes various hormonal changes that can affect our health, including an increased risk of osteoporosis and muscle weakness. Vitamin D is vital in countering these age-related hormonal shifts. By facilitating proper calcium metabolism and supporting parathyroid function, it helps maintain bone and muscle health, illustrating its importance in aging gracefully. Vitamin D's impact extends to the management and prevention of endocrine disorders, such as diabetes and thyroid diseases, which become more prevalent with age. Its role in insulin regulation and glucose metabolism suggests that maintaining adequate vitamin D levels is beneficial for metabolic health. Furthermore, its influence on thyroid function highlights its broader implications for endocrine health, underscoring the need for sufficient vitamin D to support the endocrine system's proper functioning as we age. In this study looking at vitamin D and reproductive hormones across the menstrual cycle, a study published in Human Reproduction explores the relationship between vitamin D levels and reproductive hormones across the menstrual cycle. It found that women with lower vitamin D levels had significantly lower mean estradiol levels throughout the cycle. Estradiol is the predominant form of estrogen our bodies make up until menopause. This research underscores the importance of vitamin D in hormonal regulation and its potential impact on reproductive health. Further investigation into vitamin D's role in modulating reproductive hormones could provide insights into managing conditions influenced by hormonal imbalances. Stay tuned for my next video looking at immune-boosting food.